सो हेयर इज येट अनदर अपडेट दैट यू आस्ट फॉर द वन प्लस नॉट और इज इट येट अनदर फियास्को फ्रॉम बग प्लस ओ वन प्लस सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस लॉन्ग अवेटेड ऑक्सीजन ओ एस इलेवन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट थ्री अपडेट फॉर द वन प्लस नॉट एंड इट ब्रिंग्स सम बिग फिक्सेज एट लीस्ट ऑन पेपर सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट फर्स्ट अप टू गेट दिस अपडेट ऑन योर डिवाइस यू शुड वेट फॉर द ऑफिशियल ओ टी ए अपडेट इन योर सेटिंग्स एंड इफ यू आर इन अ मेस एंड वॉन्ट इट राइट अवे जस्ट यूज ऑक्सीजन अपडेटेड एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम द गूगल प्ले स्टोर एंड डाउनलोड द जिप फाइल आफ्टर दैट जस्ट गो टू सेटिंग्स ना गो टू सिस्टम choose system updates from the list and click on this gear icon on the top right corner now choose local upgrade option and then choose the zip file we just downloaded in step 1 and this will start installing the update as usual so the easy part is now over and just tap on that reboot button and you are done so let's come back to the change log and starting off with the benchmark scores first as usual On Geekbench the device scores 598 in single core and 1843 in the multi core score as compared to the last version so slightly reduced as such but I'll be testing it out with games like PUBG and all the applications that we normally use so let's see how well it does because the last version had a lot of issues and lag with PUBG after 10 minutes or so and even now I see some lag after 40 degrees and it took like 7 to 8 minutes to reach around 42 degrees and there was some lag here and there but i'll be testing it out even more so stay tuned all right all in all the score with android 10 11.1.1.2 and this three version are in front of you so it has been degrading over the time it seems so coming back to the change log and first of all we have the may security patch now that will get old in a couple of days or so but that is what it is Other things in the system part that got a fix are firstly the card coupon not really sure what the card coupon is but okay moving further we have the fix for missed calls in phone application in case you are facing it in the network part it is mentioned that the speed of wifi connection has been improved and it means nothing until i tested out so i paired my bluetooth earphones and connected it to a 2.4 gigahertz wifi connection and the results do seem slightly better than the last version so let's see how it goes in the full review in the camera part we have some fixes and the version of camera application has now been bumped up to 6.0.123 so the fix that we have first is in the nightscape tripod mode and it seems like i'll have to test it out in detail but as of now it looks fine and the next issue that has been fixed is with the image in contact card and the camera used to be unresponsive in that app sometimes so that has also been taken care of moving further the frame drops issue in the video mode has also been fixed along with the flash failure in some scenarios and the last fix in the camera part is with the delay in switching between the front and rear facing cameras in the time lapse mode and that's pretty much everything in the camera part here are some camera samples just in case you wanted to see though i don't see any quality improvement as such But the main issues that I had were with the notification delay and performance. So I'm still testing the notification delay part and as of now it seems fine as it should have been fixed with this update. Though nothing is mentioned at all in the change log. So either it was fixed silently or ignored by OnePlus. Whatever the truth is, I'll let you guys know in the second part of this video. Also the bubble notification is still somewhat buggy with Telegram and they work when they want to, which is weird. but after resetting they work fine for some users another issue that was there with the last version was with the charging time and it had increased by almost 20 to 30 minutes up from usual 1 hour that it took with oxygen os 10 rest i was expecting at least a dark mode toggle and fps counter or some new features but it looks like we'll have to wait two more months to get something new and that is not good maybe the new oneplus nord will have those well who knows The last change that is mentioned is with the file manager and the issue with transferring files using the OTG has also been taken care of with this one. Though I don't use that feature as such, overall my raw thoughts about this update are quite neutral because of a large number of issues that we faced in the past versions. So I'll get back to you soon with a review video and till then make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that like button while you are at it. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.